Okay, so here's how you can fix this very annoying issue on Windows, Android, and iPhone. Huge shout out to Exilla for finding these fixes. I take no credit. Exilla is our savior. I made a video on Xbox yesterday if you need Xbox, but I'm going to show how to fix this issue. You can't open your skin pack on Windows first. Here's what you want to do. First on your computer, you just want to go to the Minecraft Marketplace, and once you're in the Marketplace, you want to search Builders, and we want to download the Builders skin pack right here, Builders and Biomes by Minecraft Free Skin Pack. Just get that downloading onto your device. If you already have it, that is perfect, but that is the first step. Download this free skin pack. Next, we want to download our custom skin pack. So for me, I use the Minecraft YouTuber skin pack. Take that .mc pack file and put it on your desktop. Now, once you have your skin pack downloaded, down in the description of this video, I have a link to this Builders Manifest Mediafire page. And you want to go to this Mediafire page and download the Builders Manifest. So just get that downloading and also drag that onto your desktop. Now, once you have these two things on your desktop, I just get them nice and organized. You first want to go to the Builders Manifest and right click on it and then go down to where it says rename and we want to rename this builders manifest all we want to do is get rid of the builders all capital so it's just called manifest.json it has to be spelled exactly like this manifest.json that is perfect once you've done that you want to hover over your mc pack right click on it and go down to where it says properties and once inside of properties you want to rename this instead of mc pack you just want to make it so it ends in dot zip all lowercase and then you can press on enter once you've entered that in turn it into a zip file pretty much is all we're doing so after you've done that and pressed yes you now have these two things what you want to do is press on that zip file that you just created this is your skin pack and you want to drag that over to the side here and now take that manifest.json file and just drag it into your custom skin pack so just take it drag it it'll say this it already exists it has to say this if you don't get this pop-up it means you spelt your manifest file incorrectly but you will see this and you want to press on copy and replace so we press on copy and replace that is perfect now what we can do is close everything go to the bottom left of your computer and type in run right here it's just a little program right here uh, the run program will look exactly like this and you want to open that up all right so we have opened up run it'll look like this and what you want to type in is percent local app data percent exactly as it's shown on your screen go ahead and pause the video once you have that entered in, you can just press the OK button right here to confirm that. You'll get this pop-up, and from this pop-up, uh, you want to find the Packages folder. So find Packages and enter into that folder. Once inside of the Packages folder, you want to find the Microsoft.Minecraft folder, not the beta, just the Microsoft.Minecraft folder, and you want to press on that one, the UWP. Once you are inside of Microsoft.Minecraft, what you then want to find is the Local State folder and enter the Local State folder. So once inside a local state, what you want to do is go to premium cash right here. So we go to premium cash and press on that. Then go to the skin underscore packs folder and open that up. And inside of here, you'll see a whole bunch of folders. What you want to do is press control A to select all, then right click. And we basically just want to delete all of the folders in here. Don't worry, it's just cache. You're safe to delete all of these folders. So control A, select all and delete, get rid of all of that. Then in this empty skin underscore packs folder, we just want to drag in that .zip file that we did earlier with that custom manifest. There we go, that is perfect. And that is all you have to do everyone, your skin pack will now work, load up Minecraft, go into the dressing room like you normally would, and then now you can select, it'll say that it's the Builders and Biomes skin pack, but it's really your custom one, expand that skin pack and enjoy whichever skin you want. If you have more than one custom skin pack, I have five more links to more of those skin packs off of the Minecraft marketplace, the birthday skin pack, the blockhead skin pack, the crafty costume, summer beach, and the timeless toys. You can download another manifest file and then another custom skin pack off of the marketplace and just redo these entire steps with a different manifest file and you can get more than one custom skin pack but enjoy your skins everyone this should have worked on your apple device the first thing you want to do is go down to the minecraft marketplace very simple and from the marketplace what you want to type in is actually builders and we're going to download a free custom skin pack made by minecraft right here so we type in builders press enter and you'll see it the builders and biomes free skin pack and we want to press on that if you already have it that's perfect but just press on the free button right there and get that onto your device and that's all that you have to do once you have that you're good to close out of minecraft 
The next step is very simple. Just go ahead and download the .mc pack version of your skin pack. I'm on Safari right here, so I download my YouTuber skin pack. And then in the description of this video down below, I have a link to this manifest file, the builder's manifest. It'll be a direct link, first link. You wanna go to this page right here and press on the blue download button on this Mediafire page. Once you have those two things downloaded, what you wanna do is press on this down button in the top left, then go to where it says downloads. And from your downloads page, you'll see it recently right here, the top two builders manifest and your custom skin pack. What you wanna do is press on your custom skin pack, then press this button in the bottom left corner, then you'll get this pop-up, and you wanna to go to where it says save to files, and we wanna save this into the downloads folder on our phone. It'll say downloads right there, and you just wanna press save in the top right, and then you wanna do the exact same thing for the builders manifest file, so press on it, go to the bottom left and press on this button down here. After pressing on that, you can go to where it says save to files, and press on that, and then make sure you are saving that into your downloads folder and press save in the top right so we have those two things downloaded to our phone that is perfect then what you want to do is actually open up the files app on your phone so just type in files and get that opened up and once we are inside of the files app we want to find the downloads folder so if you see this you want to go to where it says on my iPhone then from on my iPhone you want to go into that and you'll see downloads right here at the top and we want to enter that downloads folder now you'll see your builders manifest and your skin pack right there that's perfect what you want to do is hold down on your .mc pack, hold down on it, then go to where it says rename, and we want to rename our .mc pack to actually end in .zip. That's all that matters. Just rename it to end in .zip, and then press confirm. Then once you have that renamed to .zip, it'll basically say use .zip, and that's what you want to press. So we're making a zip file. Then you'll see it look like this, and you just want to press on that .zip file to pretty much extract it into your downloads folder. So just press on that. It'll automatically kind of extract and you'll now see that folder that is perfect then what you want to do is hold down on your builders manifest.json file hold down on it then go to where it says move right here and once we press on move we want to press this top left button until you get back to this browse screen right here then you want to go to where it says on my iPhone press on my iPhone then go to downloads right here and once inside of the downloads folder you want to find your custom skin pack folder the minecraft youtubers right there press on that once you are inside of that folder you can just press on move in the top right right here it might take a little bit to load but press on move it'll then move it and kick you out and that is perfect we have now moved that manifest file into that folder so it'll take us back to our downloads folder and now we just want to open that custom skin pack folder right here open up that folder that you extracted give it maybe a minute to load it might take a little bit some of these skin packs are big but once your skin pack loads up you'll see manifest.json you want to find this manifest.json file and you want to hold down on that file after you hold down on it you'll then be able to delete it so we want to delete the manifest.json file out of your skin pack then you want to find your builders manifest.json and hold down on it. Then you want to go to where it says rename after you've held down on that. And all we want to do in this rename is get rid of the all capital builders. So it just says manifest.json. Basically, we're just replacing the manifest file out of this pack. So I got rid of all the capital letters. It now just reads manifest.json, all lowercase. Press confirm. And that is perfect. You can then press the back button. And then you want to continue pressing the back button up here in the top left until you get back to this screen right here. So from here, we're going to press on on my iPhone. After pressing on on my iPhone, you then want to go to where it says Minecraft and we're going to press on that. Once inside of Minecraft, you want to go to where it says internal and we're going to press internal. Once inside of internal, you want to go to where it says premium cash right here and that is the folder. Then go to where it says skin underscore packs. That is the next place we're gonna go to. Then you'll see all of these different folders and we're just going to delete all of them. It's just cache, so it's okay to delete them. Press this button in the top right with these dots and then go to where it says select and then you're able to basically select each and every single folder and it might take a little bit. There's like a hundred folders here for me, but just press each and every single one so you have them all selected. Then you can go to this trash button in the bottom right here and you can delete all of them so you'll then have a folder is empty when you are done. All right, so we cleared out the cache folder. Now you want to press the back button in the top left of your screen until you get all the way back to this screen once again on my iPhone. And we want to go back into our downloads folder. Then in our downloads folder, we want to hold down on our custom skin pack folder right here, the custom skin pack folder, hold down on it, and then go to where it says move right here. 
and after you press on move again top the press the button in the top left a bunch of times until you get back to where it says on my iPhone then go into Minecraft then go into the internal folder again once inside of the internal folder you want to go to where it says premium cache yet again once inside of the premium cache you want to go to skin underscore packs folder and once you're inside of that empty skin underscore packs folder press the move button in the top right so we're just moving in our custom folder into that skin packs folder that we just cleared and that is perfect we are now done everyone go ahead and launch up minecraft go into your dressing room and once you go into your dressing room and you go over to the basically the classic skin builder it'll say that it's the builders and biome skin pack but it's really just your custom skin pack that you can open up and enjoy pick whichever skin you want if you have more than one custom skin pack i have five more links to more of those skin packs off of the minecraft marketplace the birthday skin pack the blockhead skin pack the crafty costume summer beach and the timeless toys you can download another manifest file and then another custom skin pack off of the marketplace and just redo these entire steps with a different manifest file and you can get more than one custom skin pack but enjoy your skins everyone this should have worked all right so on android you just want to download your custom mc pack file so get that downloading onto your device perfect right here i'm just using chrome and i get the minecraft youtuber skin pack then on your uh, on the play store there's actually an app called file manager plus and you want to download file manager plus for free and launch that so once in this app we want to go to where it says downloads right here in the top and we want to press on that once you're inside of the downloads folder go to this button in the top right with three buttons on it you want to press that go to where it says new and we're actually going to create a new folder so press on folder from these options and it will then ask you what you want to name the folder i just name it skins it doesn't really matter name it whatever you want just get that folder created and then press done and you'll have a new folder then what you want to do is hold down on your Minecraft YouTuber skin pack or whatever skin pack you got. Make sure it ends in .zip and you want to go to where it says more right here in the bottom right. Press on more, then go to where it says extract and we want to press on extract. Then go to where it says extract two and you want to press on that. After pressing on extract two, you want to go to where it says downloads right here. And once inside of the downloads, you'll see your skin pack folder that you just made right here, skins. And then press on that and then go to where it says extract here in the bottom right. And that will begin extracting your folder into your empty folder. And it might take a couple minutes depending how big your skin packs folder is. So this takes like two minutes for me. Just let it extract all the way and that is perfect. So after you've done that, you're good to go ahead and open up Minecraft. And then from the Minecraft dressing room, you want to go to where it says owned skins right here and press on that. Then you want to go to the right side to where it says choose new skin. Once you press on choose new skin, it'll give you these options. And you want to go to where it says file manager plus and press on file manager plus. Then again, from here, you can go to where it says downloads in the top left right there. After pressing on downloads, you then want to find that skins uh, folder right here that you extracted everything to. And in here is all of your skins and you can pick whichever one you want from your skin pack. It is kind of hard to tell which skin is which, but once you have found the skin that you want to use, press on it and then go to where it says select in the bottom right. And once you press on select, it'll pretty much kind of restart Minecraft right here, but it will then take you back into the dressing room and you'll then select that skin from the skin pack. And there you go. You can use it, choose to either use it as a slim or a normal skin. And there you go, you have equipped your custom skin. I know it's not the skin pack, but unfortunately on Android, we can't use the other fixes that I've shown in this video. But thank you all so much for watching. It's been Smitty. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.